It's the 2020 MUN Cup show on Shaw Spotlight, 50th annual MUN Cup this year. We're going to talk to some of the C's and the A's on the Adam Double A's right away. First, check in with the coaches, though. Coaches, let's look back on some MUN Cup memories. Let's have it. How many MUNs have you been involved in? Uh, I've been in four MUN Cups as a player and five as a coach. Uh, and uh, MUN Cup highlights so far, uh, maybe not highlight, but what do you remember from when you were playing? Well, you always remember your first MUN Cup when you win, right? <laughs> So the first MUN Cup that we, we won, I think it was the 10th annual MUN Cup, and it went to double overtime, and I was playing in net in there. It was really good. We won 2-1 against the Paw. Tough competitors there. No kidding. And stands full of people? Did oh, it, yeah. Did it back, feel like it was nuts in it, there? It felt it was game, game seven in the NHL. It was <laughs> unreal. Everybody was cheering. The fan base was great. Even the other team's fan base was awesome, too. So Huge. Having the Paw here does, doesn't get better than that. And as a coach, uh, how's it gone so far? It's been great. The kids this year have been improving so well, and uh, we've been winning them most of our tournaments. Uh, and then I can't wait to see how this Mun Cup actually plays out. It's going to be great. Uh, I forgot to introduce you, Jason. Knows where they yeah. <laughs> Adam Urina. Adam, did you ever play in the Mun? Yeah, uh, 94, 95. I think we played. Played for Arrows. And Adam A's. I love that. Uh, we're going to be interviewing the Arrows pretty soon. What a what a proud tradition. What a cool thing. You still got the the scarf. Uh, probably somewhere if I could, yeah, if I looked for it hard enough, I think it's there somewhere, yeah. Kicking around. And uh, what do you remember from the MUN when you were playing? What's the kind of the memory that's stuck in your head? Uh, just the atmosphere, all the kids, all the teams. It was a great tournament, probably the best tournament I've ever been involved in by far. Excellent. Shane Power, you didn't get a chance to play in the MUN Cup, but uh, been involved with what I consider the MUN Cup's proudest tradition, and it is? Flipping pancakes. <laughs> the Kings uh, Hockey Club. Yeah, we've been flipping pancake, pancakes, I think, now since we pretty much started the, the, the club in 2005. So it's, uh, it's been a strong tradition, and, and we're doing it again this year. So. Looking forward to it. And you coached last year? Uh, how, how'd it go? Yeah, I was, uh, I was on the bench sometimes, but uh, with the uh, Adam A group with uh, JR, and uh, we won the Crockett Cup last year. So. Yeah, excellent. What a top-shelf coaching staff. we got some top-shelf A's here as well. Um, let's start with this question just before we get going. Who's your favorite North Star? Um, Ryan Monia. Actually, Al Matichuk. Al Matichuk? Ooh. Jordan Foe. <laughs> Got one? Well, obviously Monias. <laughs> and favorite North Star? Probably Monias. Yeah! Yeah, I don't, somehow, it, somehow it feels like a scam. Uh, let's ask him some questions. Uh, who's your guy, favorite guy to play with? Ooh. Out of these three right here? Uh, just anyone on the team. Probably Drayden. Who's your favorite guy to play with? Probably Gavin. Gavin. Your favorite guy to play Drayden. with? Drayden. Drayden? Probably Drayden. Drayden? Uh, what's your uh, favorite hockey memory growing up? Um, when I was four, first skating with my dad. Um, I like two-handed my dad in mini sticks. <laughs> Dirty player. <laughs> How about you? Winning one cup. Winning one cup. Good choice. How about you? Uh, probably the first time I went on the ice. Yeah. Good. And uh, what are you guys looking forward to about one cup? I'm um, winning it. Winning it. You. <laughs> Scoring goals. Winning it. Winning it. Good answers. Good answers. Confident, eh? Yeah. Last one before we go back to the coaches. What's your favorite thing to do outside of hockey? Um, baseball, mini sticks, or just an NHL 20. Video games was last. Pretty good answer. Um, I don't know. I probably like tubing or fishing. Yeah. Chill 20 hut. <laughs> Spending time with my family or video games. We, uh, <laughs> those are good answers. You touched on it a little bit that the year's been going pretty good so far, but uh, tell us, how have you done? Where have you been and, and how's it gone? Uh, well, we, we won in Swan. We uh, got second in Morden. We won in uh, Flin Flon. We won in the Paw. And in Dauphin, we got third, I guess, eh? Yeah, and third in Dauphin. Busy, <laughs> busy year. <laughs> yeah, still, two, still two more tournaments, actually, the Munt Cup and Provincials. So. Wow, that's guys are in game shape for sure. Um, what kind of team do we have? What are, are we a finesse team? Or are we a tough team? When people come to watch the Mun Cup, what, what are they going to see? 
Uh, highly skilled team, highly skilled, lots of speed. Uh, move the puck well, good system team, play low really good. Uh, cycle the puck really good, it's all around good team. I like it. And uh, last question for you, Shane. Have you seen most of the teams in the tournament coming up? Do you, do you think we have a real shot at hoisting uh, the Mun Mug? There's only one we haven't seen yet, and that's uh, one nosy pulled out of Saskatchewan here from Tisdale. So uh, we're looking forward to facing them. We hear they're a pretty good team. So uh, that will be the opening ceremonies game, I believe. So uh, come on out. It's going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, we do have a few extra teams this year. It's the 50th. It's huge. How did you get a team from Tisdale? It's a uh, personal connection. Call in a giant favor? Yeah, it's my brother-in-law's team. <laughs> uh, I've been checking them out. Us coaching staff here, we, as we go down play down south, we always check out, see how the good teams are. We do our homework, right? And uh, this, this team here, we lost to Musiman, and this team beat Musiman. So if we can beat this team, at least let us know that, hey, we can actually beat Mooseman. <laughs> Take Mooseman for a ride. It, yeah, that is good math. It's, uh, I mean, it's so exciting for me to see that uh, this 50th year has really taken off. We got the cakes, we got the keeper of the cup thing. We brought in some teams from Saskatchewan, and it does kind of harken back to the days when we were kids, wouldn't you say? Yes, it does. And then you're being the keeper of the cup again this year? Uh, keeper of the cup this year, so you'll, you'll see me and, uh, and all of you guys at the opening. I heard it's your final year. Thinking about wrapping up the Keeper of the Cup. We're looking for a new one, so, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you did a, a fantastic job, and you look good in the suit. Pre appreciate that. I'm going to spend extra time on my hair this year. <laughs> I, I'm still thinking about dyeing mine yet, because I dyed mine five years ago oh, when wow. I coached the Carol Arrows. Yeah. I, uh, I look like Ric Flair, so <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes this year. <laughs> I'd, I'd like that. The, are the kids doing the hair dyeing thing? I think 99% uh, of them are. There's one kid I have to try to convince that dye his hair, but it's up to him. Is it your kid? No, he was, he's dying his hair on Tuesday, so. He's all in. He's all in, yeah. <laughs> right on, coaches and players, uh, thanks for doing this with us. It's the Mun Cup Show, the 50th annual Mun Cup, Mun Cup 2020. Max, talk us out. Shaw Spotlight. What? Say thanks, everybody, for watching the thanks Mun Thanks, everybody, Cup for watching the Mun Cup Show 2020. He's going to be the new host of the North Star Show one day, right? Here. Yeah. I'm going to do one with Gamlin soon. Meet him. <laughs> It's a Mun, we're all done. Mun Cup Show 2020 on Shaw Spotlight. <laughs>